What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad 1412. Excited to be back. Feels good to be back, man. Back for vacation. We was in VA. Well, me and my wife and my son, you know, he's over there for a conference. And it, it was a long week, but it feels good to be back. Be back at home. You know, I got my all my materials here, all my equipment, you know, my, my big screen TV, you know, my, my regular mic. Everything feels good to have. Speaking of having stuff, what we have here is actually a 30k wager match. 30k wager match versus a subscriber. If you want to play me, subscribe by the name of Bamboo the Archers that you can see in the right hand corner. If you want to play me in a regular match for fun, uh, uh, NBA 2K, Madden, uh, you know, we can do online ranked matches, whatever you want to do. Whenever you see me online, just hit, you know what? You know, you know what the best way really is to get a game with me? Hit me on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, it's going to be a very hard for you to get a game with me. Follow me on Twitter, add me. There's a high chance I'm probably going to add you back. And, you know, we, we can get games. If we can get games, then we can set it. Because if you can be on Twitter, we can set the games up. You know, that's one of the best ways to set the games up. So definitely uh, do that, man. Follow your boy right now, man. Links in the description for the Twitter. And anything else you want to know about about the boy Launchpad 1412, I get the first touchdown of the game right there. I'm in the Falcons jerseys. My opponent, Bumble the Archers, love the name, as in the New York Giants jerseys. Let's get this ball rolling, man. Top of the second quarter, a little over three minutes left to go in the, in the quarter, and he gets a nice pass right there to Jamal Charles, who's caused all kinds of havoc. This game, this guy's been a total nightmare. Fourth and six, he goes for it in his own end zone. I mean, in his own <laughs> half of the field, and he ends up not getting. I was shocked that he didn't get that. I've played Bumble the Archers many times. And uh, he's been a thorn in my side as far as um, people that just know how to play me well, knows what I like to do. He's just, uh, he can be an absolute nightmare at times to play against. So when he asked me for a 30K wager match, I was kind of like, I don't even know. He asked me for a wager match. And I'm just thinking like, man, this is the one subscriber. I really don't, <laughs> I really don't even want to get into a wager with. Yeah, this to me he's a guy you play one time and then you play him like next month, man. I'm trying to, he, he, to me he's one of those type of guys because he's just so familiar with what I do. We've played that many times, but it's funny. I'm just not as familiar with what he does. As, as Stephon Gilmore gets a nice pick right there, my goodness, man. On the first of ten, I'll take it. Under two minutes to go in the second quarter. I get sacked right here, but check out this. Second and 18, big play by me. I scroll to the left with Audrey 3. That's actually a 96 overall. Audrey 3 right there. Throwing it to the left hand side, and we get a nice catch right there by Jimmy Grant, who came up big right there. Next play, first down to 10. I go over the middle to 89 overall. Brandon Cooks, man. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Almost get, look, look at that right there. Almost get sacked right there. But I get called for the intentional ground. I was outside the zone of intentional ground. I don't know how I got called for it. Maybe because I threw the ball way too fast. Who knows? But I get another pass right there to uh, boy Amari Cooper the same play that I did last time to get Brandon Cooks open this guy has really good one man to man coverage all his defenders are pretty good he got some really good safety Sean Taylor back there I'm not sure what Sean Taylor it is but I'm assuming maybe it's ultimate Sean Taylor I, I didn't even look man but I didn't want to, I didn't want to throw to him too much I didn't want a chance I know the, uh, the Sean Taylor is not the best in coverage but he ain't the worst either he will Pick you up, trust me on that. I've been picked off by him a couple times on online rate matches, so I know he's not necessarily the guy. You really want to test? Check out this one right here by the boy Bamboo the Archers getting a 35 yard gain. That would hurt right there because I've been following. Um, I've been using my middle linebacker on the man up coverage and just trying to follow him around and distract his throws throughout the whole game. And to see that he that he knew I was doing that and decided to get a huge run right there, that, that totally changed the game. He's down 17 right now, but he's not out. Throws to the right-hand side right here. Gets a nice catch, but not, to, not the first down. I mean, not, not, does not get to the end zone. Third down and goal, doesn't get into it right there. Fourth and goal, he goes for a toss to the right. Beautiful play right here, beautiful execution. I mean, why not, man? Jamal Charles, one of the fastest and one of the sleekest running backs in the game. It makes a lot of sense they did that. I'm not really sure why I didn't think of <laughs> Um, stopping the outside, I, I usually do. Even though sometimes it's hard to stop the outside with the 4-6 defense that I like to run on the goal line. But I end up getting sacked right there, forcing a 4 for 17. That guy came screaming around the corner, um, threw the heaters at me, man. Threw the heaters at me. He did a good job uh, setting up heaters. And them heaters <laughs> got to me really, really good, man. So, it's his turn to burn right now. He has an opportunity to bring a two-possession game to one-possession game. Let's see what he can do. Stays calm in the pocket, throws to the left-hand side. Gets to Jamal Charles once again, man. This guy... He's just one of those guys that's just a nightmare, man. Catching out the backfield, catching 
over the over the hash mark, running the ball. Look, look, there he goes again. He didn't get that many yards right there, but he's still someone that you know he just keeps reminding me that I have to pay attention to right here. Odell Beckham gets a nice catch and the first down. First and goal. Let's see what Bumble the Otters can do. Goes right up the middle, but gets stopped at the one. Second and goal. Let's see what he got. He goes right up the middle again. I thought I had him, but the boy Lamar Woodley gets a nice tackle right there. My goodness, Lamar Woodley again gets him again, but hits him forward and not back. I'm like, come on, Lamar, you killing me. And he goes for two right here, and he gets a two-point conversion. What does this mean? He's down two. It just means that he can stop me. This means that he has the opportunity to come down the field and get a kick a field goal and win the game. Can you believe that I have not scored in this quarter? I'm like, this is crazy. Did I get cold feet or something? What's going on? Third and eight. A big play right here. I need this. I thought to the left. I thought he was open, but I didn't see that guy right there. I thought he was wide open, man. I thought he was open like the Indian Ocean, and he, he wasn't, man. He wasn't open, so I ended up paying the price for not making the best read right there. Decided to run right here with Mario. There's 17 seconds left to go into the contest. Bamboo Oscars got the ball. He has the opportunity to win the game. Goes over the middle. Can he get it to Odell Beckham? No. I ended up getting the stop right there. The stop by Gilmore. Runs to the right side right here. He feels a little bit of life right here. Feels like someone's open. I thought I had to pick, but he doesn't get it. Three seconds have to go in the game. Last opportunity. Miracles have happened in this game. You guys know that. Can Bamboo the Oscars get one right here? No, he doesn't have enough throwing power. On that arm, but thankfully not crazy happened. I ended up getting the pick with Jenkins right here, y'all. Oh my goodness. And now it's time for launch pass players with an S of the game. Stefan Gilmore. What can I say, man? Let's look at what he's doing here, man. Getting a nice stop right here on the first and ten. That was a really big stop right there on what I believe is uh, Michael. But, uh, the big boy from uh, Buccaneers, I couldn't think of his name. Stops the catch right there. My man caught the ball and popped him, and he hit him right there. Gets the pick right here, man. Big play of the game, man. Bumble Oscar scores right there. He's he's within seven points, and he gets the ball at half. Next play right here. Check out this, man. Probably the biggest play of the night. Gets a nice bat down right there on Odell Beckham on that big, big um, catch right there. But almost catch. Jimmy Graham, but another guy that was huge for me in this game. Gets a nice catch right there over the middle for the first down that fourth and two. Next play right here on the second and 18. Remember this? I rolled out to the left. I didn't know who to throw it to. I was like, let me get a chance. Let me chance. I go to Jimmy Grant, he converts on a second and 18, gives me the first down. Touchdown play right here early in the contest. I believe that was second quarter, early in the second quarter. Next play. I'm sorry, no more plays for Jimmy Grant. I thought he had 4 2. But yeah, your boy, man. Lost pair 14 12 here, man. Shout out to Bumble the Oshers, man. Always gives me a heck of a contest, man. Always gives me, you know, nightmares when he asks me to play them. You know, you can either hit me on the inbox, you no, know, subscribe to me on Twitter. Um, not subscribe to me on Twitter, but follow me on Twitter. Or, or add me as a friend on Xbox One or PS4. When you see me online, hit me up. If I have time, I will get to gaming with you. Just because you hit me up doesn't mean I'm going to, we're going to play right on the spot. You know, you could catch me at work, you know I me, mean? especially if you hit me on Twitter. But I'll try to schedule a time that we can get it in. I definitely want to make a point to um, get as many subscriber matches as I can. Because without you guys, there's no me on this YouTube. I can't do nothing without y'all, man. That's the truth. Check it out right here, man. I didn't even have to ask him for it up front. He paid up. He manned up. Shout out to Bamboo the Entrance. But he manned up, man. He manned up. He paid me. Gave me gave me my 30K. I ended up getting 27K back. You know, the taxes and all that, all that craziness that you know EA's got going on right here. I was gonna try to put some packs for the uh, the Cromarty and the Tony Gonzalez. But uh, I, I I I might pull some packs, I'm not sure. I, I kinda wanna save my money a little bit. And I'm really more of a gameplay guy versus a guy that pulls a lot of packs. I don't wanna no, keep pulling packs of you guys. You know, I just had a pack over this not too long ago. I think I had like two or three not too long ago, if I'm not mistaken, man. This is your boy, Launchpad 1412. I'm out. Might pull up for three, you never know.